In this lecture, we're going to discuss what are isomers. Now, uh, the definition of an isomer is that they are different compounds uh, having the same molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms. So, what that means is, or what is having the same same molecular formula? What is the meaning of this term? That means that the number of atoms of different elements is going to be exactly the same. And different arrangement of atoms means that they are bonded to each other in a different way. They are arranged in the three-dimensional space in a different way. So I can give you an example. Let's take a very simple example. Uh, I have a molecule which has three carbon atoms. And there is a chlorine attached to one of the carbon atoms and another chlorine attached to one of the carbon atoms over here and the rest of the atoms which are bonding to carbon are all hydrogen so the molecular formula of this particular molecule or compound is that there are three carbon atoms the number of hydrogens in this molecule are one two three four five and six so there are a total of six hydrogens and there are two chlorines one over here and one over here so there there are two chlorines so an isomer of this compound is going to have exactly the same number of uh, atoms of different elements but they would be arranged in a different manner so i can uh, think of a isomer which is going to have three carbon atoms that, uh, because the molecule is going to have the same number of carbon atoms and let's attach one Cl on the last carbon atom and one Cl in the middle. And the rest of the bonds are carbon bonding with hydrogen atoms. So all these hydrogens are bonding to carbon. Remember that carbon makes four bonds. So this here is another molecule and it exactly has the same number of atoms but they are arranged in a different manner. If you count the number of atoms, there are three carbon atoms there are six hydrogen atoms and there are two chlorine atoms so these two molecules are isomers of each other and the reason being that they have exactly the same number of atoms but the arrangement of uh, the atoms is different here the chlorines are attached one at this end and one at the other end over here chlorine one chlorine is attached at one end and one chlorine is attached in the middle so the different compounds the properties, the physical, the chemical properties would also be different. Sometimes they are drastically different. Sometimes they are only very slightly different. Uh, but they are two completely separate compounds, which are isomers of each other. The only uh, difference being that the arrangement of atoms is different. The isomers that I've drawn over here, they're called structural isomers. And they, they are your first type of isomers. Structural isomers are called structural isomers because they have a different connectivity of atoms. So the connectivity or the way the atoms are joined together, that's different. So they are formed because of different connectivity. And I can do another example of a structural isomer. So let's... Uh, Let's take the example of, uh, of, of, pent of propanoic acid. So if you have propanoic acid, it has uh, three carbon atoms and there's a carboxylic acid functional group over here. And it's going to have hydrogen atoms attached to it. So another structural isomer is that if I change the connectivity of the atoms in this molecule, so this is propanoic acid, it has it has the molecular formula, it, ha it has three carbon atoms. Uh, it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six hydrogen atoms, and there are two oxygen atoms. So this is propanoic acid, and, I, and I'm going to change the connectivity of the atoms in this molecule. So what I can do is, uh, if you can see the OH group over here, so I can, I can change the position of this OH group, and I can put it over here instead of this hydrogen. So I can swap this OH group with this hydrogen atom, and the connectivity would become different. So let's uh, try and draw that. So instead of the OH, I now have hydrogen over here and I and I replace the H on the left hand side with OH and the rest of the atoms are as it is. So I didn't do much, I just changed a few uh, connecting bonds and I changed the position. So again the molecular formula, it's still C3H6 
and their two oxygens. So the molecular formula is exactly the same. The, you have the same exact number of atoms, but the way they are connected together, that is different. So this is another example of a structural isomer. So that's your first type of isomer, which are called structural isomers. The second type of isomers are called stereoisomers. Now, stereoisomers, uh, the reason why different molecules would be different uh, is the reason why they would be forming isomer is that the spatial arrangement of atoms is going to be different. There would be the same exact number of atoms connected in exactly the same way except for the spatial arrangement being different. Now, for stereoisomers, you must know the three-dimensional shape of molecules. So, I've, uh, I've drawn, uh, I'm just doing an example right now and we're going to do this later in a lot, a lot more detail. So, just as an example, what I'm going to show you is that this is a molecule of uh, uh, dichloroethene where you have two carbon atoms. This is the exact three-dimensional shape of this molecule. Remember the previous structures that we drew, they were not the exact three-dimensional shape. They just showed how the atoms were connected together. But this is the exact three-dimensional shape of this molecule. It's uh, the arrangement around the carbon atom. It is, it is uh, all the bonds are arranged in a fan-shaped manner. It's called a trigonal planar arrangement. So you have a double bond, carbon double bond carbon, and there's a CL bonded, uh, uh, each uh, one CL bonded to each of the carbon atoms and a hydrogen bonded to each of the carbon atoms. Now an isomer of this, without changing the connectivity, uh, a stereoisomer is going to have a different spatial arrangement. So you can have another molecule of dichloroethene in which there's a hydrogen over here and there's a CL over here. And over here, the bond, the direction of the bonds is going to be different. Hydrogen is pointing downwards now and Cl is pointing upwards. So let me highlight that. So in this molecule, you had these two Cl atoms. And in this molecule, you had these two Cl atoms. So as you can see, the connectivity is, exact, is exactly the same. Again, the chlorine is still attached to the same carbon atom, but the direction of the bond is different. Over here, the bond is pointing in a different direction. Uh, both chlorines are pointing in different directions over here. Both chlorines are pointing in exactly the same direction. So these are called stereoisomers where the connectivity is exactly the same, but the three-dimensional spatial arrangement of atoms is going to be different. And remember, uh, we're going to do this uh, in a lot more detail in, in the following videos. So uh, you basically have two types of isomers. One are called structural isomers where the connectivity of atoms is different and the other one is called stereoisomers where the connectivity of the atoms is the same except that the direction of the bonds and the spatial arrangement is going to be different in stereoisomers.